everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be talking about mood boards a lot of people in the fashion industry use them fashion designers are probably the main ones that use them stylists use them photographers use them any creative person can use them not just limited to the fashion industry even if you're not in a creative field you still can use them because all you're doing is brainstorming ideas and working towards a certain vision the reason i love these is because for one thing, it's very aesthetically pleasing. When you put all of your pictures together, having the different images and the different colors together, it just looks great. I use it more for um, decoration in my room, on my walls, rather than an inspiration for a certain project. Now, I have done it before where I did use it for a project, but when I do it on my own free time, I like to have it as like wall decor. I'm going to be showing you guys a quick and easy DIY of how to make your own fashion mood boards. So what you're gonna need is a poster board. I like to use white, some magazines, some ribbon, which is optional, some scissors, and some glue. What I like to do next, and this is optional, you don't have to do this step if you don't want to, I like to add some sheer matching ribbon to my poster board around the edges to frame my pictures to give it more of a clean look and it adds a little bit more interest to it. Next you want to grab your magazines and start tearing out any pictures or quotes that you see in there that you might want to add to your pictures. It doesn't have to be perfect but you want to try to tear out these pictures as cleanly as possible because you don't want to rip them and ruin them for your poster board. After that, you're going to weed through the pictures that you torn out and really narrow them down to the ones that you really want to use. And once you do that, you're going to cut off the rough edges on the side and cut out any quotes or any smaller portions of what you torn out to use on your poster board. Once you've done that, now you're going to arrange them in a way that you find visually appealing. You're going to go back and forth probably a few times considering that you have different pictures and you really don't know where you want to go. Just play around with it until you find something that you like. A lot of times I'll go back to my magazine and try to look for something else that I think will fit or cut my pictures down to have a little bit more variety in the shapes or get them to fit on my poster board. You're going to start gluing your pictures wherever you set them previously. You can still play around with it. I play around with where they're located a lot to make sure that I get it exactly where I want it before I glue it down. But I also like to have some white space still in my background. I don't like to completely cover my poster board. I still want some negative space in there. If you want to make a super collage and really cover every white space you see, then go for it. This is just my personal style. You can shake it up any way you want to. So this is the finished product of the mood board I just created on camera for you guys. There's not really a general theme to this. This is just a bunch of random pictures I found in a magazine that I like. And I just picked out the ones that I really wanted in here and I just arranged it in a way that was visually appealing. Here is another one that I did earlier. Again, there's no theme to this. It's just random pictures in a collage and I like to have the colors balanced out each other. I like the wording added to it. It creates a nice balance. And once I make a few more, I'm gonna put these up on my wall and add some string lights to it. Once I do that, I think my decorations will be complete. So as always, thank you guys for watching my latest video. Stay tuned for what I have for you guys next week. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, leave a comment below, and hit that subscribe button. See you guys later.